ASME is a healthy and thriving organization. We've been around for 130 years and in the standards business for more than 125. Our standards are used in more than 100 countries and we work with hundreds of companies and thousands of members who are engaged in the standards process. Companies who participate in the standards development process do have a competitive advantage. Uh, first of all, they're a, a part of a community that is interested in best practices. So inherently, by engaging in the standards process, you have exposure to and engage and learn about uh, industry best practices, whether it's in public safety or technology development or whatnot. Relying on standards can boost a company's bottom line in a number of ways. First of all, it opens up markets to you, uh, markets you may not have been aware of. So if you're in the value chain in the power generation business, for example, and you're complying with an ASME standard for boilers or whatnot, you can literally uh, engage in markets all over the globe. As we know, the world is uh, shifting and there are different parts of the world growing at different paces. Uh, technology is advancing in, at different rates in different countries. And standards is a way to provide a common language to provide entry to those markets, both for U.S. manufacturers or virtually any manufacturer who's a part of the standards process. On the Standards Boost Business website, there is a case that's cited where an energy supply company used uh, ASME's in-service inspection to save literally tens of millions of dollars. What they're able to do is get access to years and years of, of practical experience to help advance the maintenance and, and service of equipment um, so they don't have to learn it all over again for the first time. ASME does have a long history of participating with students through student design contests as well as education. And uh, one of the ways we support that activity is through standards and certification. So by exposing students to the notion of standards and certification, it's a way for them to understand how engineering and engineering technology fits in a global marketplace uh, through standards. Well, the standards process, of course, is an open and welcoming process, and uh, it works because of the consensus nature. If a company chooses not to participate in the standards process, generally they're turning their back on uh, best practice, they're turning their back on the community who is interested in advancing their broad commercial interest uh, and also interested in global trade and development. So there, I think that there's a whole long list of uh, negatives for not participating in the standards process. Uh, in this day and age of economic uncertainty, uh, where there's natural disaster, where there's human-made disaster, and where there's going to be 7 billion people on the planet by the end of this calendar year, the notion of standards and, and public safety has never been more important. And so ASME is uh, glad to be a part of this process. We see it as a part of our mission and uh, absolutely support the Standards Boost Business Campaign.